father, an author, a speaker, and above all, a person who's created worlds for millions of fans. For Matt's News, I'm Gabby DeArmas, giving you full insight on Neil Schusterman's trip to Miami Art Studio. Neil Schusterman is a world-renowned author who is known for teen dystopian literature. Aside from being an author, he is a father to four children. His most famous books include many heartfelt characters that have been able to relate with audiences of all ages. On January 16th, his presence at Mass consisted with a one-on-one -on -one talk with students about his most personal and awarded periods of his life as an author. I thought that he was wonderful. The students, all they talked about him, they felt that he was very uh, personable, very relatable, uh, very down to him. Not only is he an author of books, but he also is a director for films. He's done so many things. He's so versatile. Um, and you know, if you go on his website, you'll even see clips of him in his house where he writes. So I think that people really connect to him and students in particular. He's all about the kids. There's a lot of effort to stay calm because I've read a lot of his books and I'm a fan of his work. So when somebody that you pretty much idolize comes and in the flesh to your school, it's pretty an amazing experience and there's nothing like it. He was currently on tour for his new literary art piece, Thunderhead, the second book in the Arc of Scythe series, which consists of a new perspective of the modern day world that has conquered both death and disease but now faces the struggle of mass population, which is controlled by the Scythes, the human race new painkillers. The books are mainly portrayed by two young teenagers, Citra and Rowan, who are trained to become new Scythes. With such a large fan base and enticing storyline, questions have arisen whether the books will be made into a feature film. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, but now Universal Studios has the, has the book and they're, they're developing a script. And that was a question that came up. Whose perspective, whose point of view to tell it from? I think at, at this point, it's more of Citra's story. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with it on, on screen. There's no doubt that the Scythe series will continue to grow, either being displayed on the big screen or enticing readers in a new view of the world. For Mass News, I'm Gabby Diarmas signing off.